Good afternoon, I'm Scott Okamoto, Community Outreach and Marketing Manager at Maple Tree Village. Today we're here with Andrew Louie, who worked on a project for Maple Tree Village residents in building 10 planter boxes last summer to earn his Eagle Scout with Boy Scout Troop 50. So today we're going to talk to Andrew a little bit about his volunteering here at ACC and Maple Tree Village, building these beautiful planter boxes for our residents to enjoy. So welcome, Andrew. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about what made you think of working with ACC for this project? So a lot has come into play when working with ACC. For example, um, my parents and a lot of my family members and friends have been supported by ACC and the works that they do. And so I thought it was a good idea to maybe give back to this community and to um, give back to, the, to how they helped and nurture my friends and family. Perfect. And how about the process with earning the Eagle Scout and coming up with the project and the details? How did that go? So that was a, that's a good question. So um, originally when I reached out, I reached out to ACC with this broad conception of how I wanted to do an Eagle uh, Scout project with them. And they came and came back with me with a, a lot of ideas. It was, you know, planner boxes, games and stuff like that. And, you know, I think one thing that stuck out to me was these planner boxes. And I felt that making these would really have a greater impact on the citizens that were here. And so that's why I chose to do them. And um, a lot of has gone into it. You know, the ACC members and um, that I talked to and staff really supported this idea. So that's why one of the reasons why I really wanted to do this. Perfect. And have you ever made planter boxes before? So <laughs> I have never, um, I have very little experience with woodwork in general. Um, so it was definitely a learning experience to get to know how to build such beautiful boxes like these and I really enjoyed the process. So yeah, it was a great experience overall. <laughs> Wonderful. And how did you kind of pick the style and materials and everything that went into this project? So one of the things that um, when I was looking at in, into planter boxes, I wanted to make sure that the style and design would uphold throughout the years, right? So choosing the wood, um, this is made out of redwood specifically, and we um, had a technique in order to build these boxes where they would last as long as possible. And so, um, Doing so made it so that we could um, engineer many of these and um, come up with a plan to hopefully see these throughout the next, you know, 10 years or so. But I think a lot goes into um, thanking one of my coaches, Rich Shirashi over there, for helping me come up with these plans. And how did you work to raise the funds for this project and get all the material and everything sourced? So ACC has a great community. And um, one of the things I did was I had to outreach to ACC's community. And I really appreciate all the work they did into helping me fund something so that I could benefit them. Um, I really am thankful for everybody that helped me and supported me along the way, whether it was donations to helping me with supplies and stuff like that. I really appreciate all the work that ACC and the community has truly offered. Absolutely. Well, the planter box has turned out absolutely beautiful and here at ACC, obviously, we value our volunteers and their input to our community, really strengthening the bond between our community and our residents and really enlightening all of our residents' lives. As you can see, they've been out planting in these boxes and at ACC, we absolutely value our volunteers and projects like this that involve not only the community, but also recipients here at ACC and how it can enrich our residents' lives. So thank you so much, and thank you to all of our ACC volunteers for projects just like this. Thank you, Scott, for the opportunity to be working with you. Of course, thank you.